Thank you. Welcome back, everyone. This is Robert at Custodian File. Appreciate all your past support. Today is uh, July 31, 2024. Let's just jump on in. This is uh, from uh, John at Latchkey Hustle. Uh, obviously, uh, Chopper right here is just flying over his roof. The Channel 4 News Chopper, that's the uh, local NBC News. I love news choppers. Very hard to um, record because uh, they do not fly with their uh, transponder turned on, believe it or not. Uh, this, I, I don't know if there's, they, they're the exception to the rule. And because of that, you can never see news choppers coming ahead of time. So very hard to record. In this case, uh, the video is perfect. You got blue skies, you got super uh, clarity on the chopper. And we have these orange UFO dragons. And those are just, you've heard me say it before, they're hard to come by. John's making it look easy. Uh, don't, when you record dragons, they're easy to do. Don't anticipate these orange, these basically, theoretically, I think the orange is the, um, they're using helium as a uh, fuel source of uh, electrons and plasma helium electrified as orange. But nevertheless, uh, that's easily identifiable. Um, they do come up and uh, just a great overall, just a great video. Thank you very much, John. I appreciate that. I encourage you to check out his channel, Latchkey Hustle. I'll show you a screenshot of his channel. All right, let's go to the next. Super, here we go again with the Latchkey Hustle. Look at this, look at this photo. Evidently, we have these uh, these three small UFOs just pull up on this plane. You know, anyone can do this. This is not just a Los Angeles thing. Uh, you, you see aircraft, helicopters, airplanes. Take your phone out, hold it, landscape. Zoom in maybe 20% and record for 20 to 30 seconds. That's all it takes. Uh, if you have a lot of aircraft, if you live next to an airport, then zoom in closer, take your chances. If you zoom out the dragon, so what? Because you have so many aircraft over you, does it matter? If you don't, don't zoom in too close. Um, and you'll, you'll catch these things. This is what the, uh, these uh, UFOs look like when, you zoom, uh, when they fly too close to your camera. You're like, what are those wings of Robert? So those wings are propulsion. They are ion uh, plasma, electron plasma, plasma jets. If you go on Google, uh, MIT has been experimenting with that. We have some extremely primitive prototypes. Uh, again, that's just on uh, MIT. Check it out. But um, obviously there's a rush for plasma jet technology. That's going to be really slow in coming. That is not going to happen quickly simply because too much electricity is needed to make this feasible. So we need some super advanced super advanced conductors, capacitors, batteries, uh, highly advanced mathematics. It's, a, it's, a, uh, it's just, it's not gonna be happening soon. But uh, we're in the right step, and you know what? We're looking in the right direction. We're looking at these dra dragons. We are looking at the right direction. That's why we gotta open up some dialogue and see uh, what we can, uh, what kind of information they'll give us, anything. Just throw us a bone, something. Because right now, we're just standing around with our hands in our pocket. They have the technology, we don't. I'm sure they'd be happy to help us if we approach them sincerely. I think they'd be happy to help us. All right, tell me what you think. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment. You have your own Dragon Video custodian file at Gmail. Let's go to the next. All right, Chip from Florida. Thank you very much, Chip. Super outstanding. He's hitting it out of the park every day. So this is what the uh, one of these uh, small, fast, tiny UFOs look like uh, up close. Again, uh, it's essentially, it's a 10-inch Corona silhouette when in motion and when they're when they're parked. They're like a, a one-inch oval uh, copper object. Uh, I do have some video that depicts that. So yeah, you can um, you can check that out or you can ask questions. But again, when you start to record these, this is what you look for. Uh, it never changes. The speed never changes. 2,000 miles an hour. Uh, if you have a car radar detector, uh, it will trigger the X and K band. And they do leave, leave a tiny click on your video. 
if you record behind a glass door, it's easier to hear that tiny audio click. All right, let's go to the next. All right, super LAPD. Now they're about the only government agency that's still coming around, still coming around. And, uh, and every time they do, they fly over Marina Del Rey in the same spot in the sky, the same airspace. These uh, dragons will fly by, they recon, they tag. They wanna know, obviously, like, what are you doing? What's going on? Sometimes they'll fly right up to the windshield uh, where the camera is. So they just, they just put their face right in front of the camera. Uh, the LAPD has some awesome, awesome video. They've already admitted that these things are annoying. Uh, that's nice. Now, please uh, put that video online. I'd really like to see that video. Also, the fire department and sheriff department, they have the same video. Please just put it online. Somebody anonymously put it online. Show us. It's, there's nothing top secret here. You're not going to lose your job. Really, nothing's going to happen. That's, those are all false narratives. Uh, this, uh, the, if anything, you'll, you'll be, I think uh, you'll get a lot of thank yous later on if you put that video out first. All right, let's uh, go to the next. Super, I showed this uh, last week. It was just so exceptional. John at Latchkey Hustle, so exceptional. Uh, swarm of these uh, UFO dragons, and there are a lot. I mean, when you look at the original video, there could have been four, six, eight hundred easy in the sky. Uh, unbelievable. What were they doing? What was going on? Was there a, responding to an emergency? Where were they going? So many questions. Just not a normal video. Anything over two dragons is an unusual video, let alone six or eight hundred or a thousand. Uh, Yipes, what can I say? It's uh, that more information will come from that later. But uh, if you look at each one, you look at the video in slow motion, it couldn't have been more perfect. Blue skies, airliner in the back. He's just recording the airliner, hoping one dragon would fly by. Just, pheno just phenomenal. I think I said it before, but we're never going to see a better dragon video than this. Not, not likely, not for a long time. Hold your camera out, record airliners, just like this. You'll capture these things, they're all over the world. They're all over. Uh, more and more people are now posting them and it's, it's getting pretty darn good. All right, let's go to the next. Super chip in uh, Florida, here we go again. Look at this zigzag, look at these zigzag uh, just recording helicopters. We've got two dragons just zigzagging, flying around. Phenomenal, just phenomenal. Uh, I think he even had a, a swarm video uh, a couple of days ago too. Uh, I don't want to really focus on swarms because uh, it's it just opens up too many other questions. And this is really Dragon 101, UFO 101. Uh, I don't want to make this too complicated. Uh, if the swarms are concerning, but until I have more information, I'm, I'm not going to just uh, keep bringing it up without a purpose. But yeah, that's what these things can do. They can just zigzag whenever they want. The majority of the time they fly straight though. But uh, what's the zigzag about? Obviously, uh, hopefully they're just trying to get our attention. They know they're being recorded. They can easily hack into your phone and frame themselves into the video. So hopefully that's what they're doing here. They just uh, wanna be noticed. I think that's all there is to it. All right, please remember to like, subscribe, comment. Let's go to the next. Super, this is a, a new viewer, Ben from Oklahoma. Thank you very much, Ben, I do appreciate this. So what he's doing is he's just following the format. There's free radar on the internet. Uh, there's two or three apps. I use a plainfinder.net, uh, but you can use the others. Uh, I like Plainfinder because um, it comes with like a, uh, a, a three year uh, memory where you can go back and check uh, flight data. Um, Basically, he saw these uh, Chinooks coming at him from, I believe, 20 miles away. Gave him enough time to go outside, pull his camera out. And sure enough, uh, they flew over, they got tagged. And I believe shortly after they shut their uh, GPS off, and he could no longer track them. So he didn't know where they returned the base to, wherever base was. Uh, very odd, he says they normally do not fly over that location. 
Um, so there you go. You use all this technology to your advantage. Uh, Planefinder.net, when you see aircraft coming at you, go outside and record it. I'm, I'm sorry if it makes it sound so easy, but it, uh, somebody spent a lot, trillions of dollars to invent your iPhone and all the apps, and now the benefits are here. That's all this is. Super exciting. And Ben is doing a fantastic job. He's just hitting it out of the park. Uh, just a matter of time, Ben. I think you should uh, accumulate uh, 20 or 30 more videos and then start a channel. This is phenomenal. Okay, that will do it for today. This is Robert at Custodian File. I do appreciate you sharing your valuable time with me. Until the next uh, post, be safe. Bye-bye.